It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to our live stream, another Sunday afternoon with you all. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Glad to see you. Uh, what's going on, Sarah? Well, we got a lot to cover this show. Yeah. Uh, we kind of decided to mix it up this time, do something a little bit more out of the box. So um, first, we're going to, like we said last week, we're going to try to do more of like a featured shout outs from now on. Uh, people who've, you know, sent us samples that maybe before we had our little system in place um kind of go back and call those people out just to give them a thanks call them out no in a nice way call attention to thank them call, verbally call attention to yes oh my god will you hit skip um, ad oh my gosh she's so angry <laughs> no, it's just like um, it's a three minute ad and then obviously <clears throat> we're going to do the bookers um chad has something special he'd like to talk to us about before we get to that mm -hmm. and then um we have some bourbon trivia. I bought Chad this game called the Bourbon Run for Christmas, and we've been so busy we haven't been able to play it. So we decided, why not play it today? Yes. Um, we won't get out like the full board and everything, but we're going to do some trivia. You just guys can to, keep score. Yeah, just try to stump each other. Jeopardy. <laughs> and, and if we can't get it, you maybe, know, maybe, you guys maybe can. we'll phone a friend in, in the live chat. Definitely. Or something. And then we have, after the bookers, samples. Samples. So many samples. Um, yes. Jefferson's Ocean... Uh, Voyage 14, that's the Weeded, Rock Hill Farms, which we've had uh, for a bit, uh, Breaker Bourbon, and a Buffalo Trace Experimental Collection, um, Mash 1, Char 4, French Oakheads, 10 year. Oh my. Fancy. So, um, and we'll also give thanks to everyone who sent us all those bottles, because they've come from all over the place. Yeah, once we so, get there. Yes, so that's the agenda for today's show. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. What you doing over there? I'm trying to get to the... The live thing. I like to have it on mine, too, but... Hmm. Sorry. There we go. Jeez. It's right there. No, I know. I like to go through the... Oh, I see. Okay. He's got his system. Let him have his system. Back end. Well, first <clears throat> we got to do our featured shout-out. Yes. Which let's is do, that guy right there. Let's do our featured shout-out, which is this guy, right? That That's that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this bottle came to us from our friends uh, Brian and Wendy O'Loughlin. I believe is how you say it. Um, so they sent us a handful of things, but... This was a full bottle that they sent us, which I was just blown away f about. I they don't make this anymore. Yeah. It's I've never had it. We haven't opened it yet. Um, we're going to save that for a future live episode, I think. I looked this up at, at one point. You think I would look it up again before the show starts, but you know. Um, I think it was like 2000, uh, like the mid-2000s, or around maybe 2007, 2008, is when they when stopped. Why don't you guys look that up for us real quick? <laughs> when they stopped making it. I had this back in the day when it was available, but, you know, I, I drank through it and haven't had it in years and years and years and can't tell you anything about it anymore. But um, we're not going to this yet. But okay. this is our shout-out of the show. So thank you all so much guys. for sending that. I mean, yeah, who, that's awesome. Whenever it comes to us, it's not made. Yeah, so nice. What a nice surprise. Yeah, totally. Um, do we get lifelines? Someone said, maybe. We'll discuss. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so. Um, how do people send samples if they have something interesting? Thank you for asking. This is from Michael. Um, you can email us at at gmail.com and we can figure that out with you. Uh, we have and everything that we can send you and chat with you a little bit. Thank you personally instead of over the air. So that's always nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, thank you. Uh, let's see. Indeed. I think that that brings us... Oh, technical difficulties. I don't think it's the internet. I think it's your computer. You can see uh, I, I shouldn't have tried to get this window open. <laughs> oh. So it's not the internet. Uh, hopefully it's uh, going to no. catch back up here. We're still live. I'm just not going to touch it anymore. There we go. Yeah. So it's not, it's not the internet. It's this computer being bogged down. So I'm not going to touch the computer anymore. No, it's still frozen. Still frozen. It's a mess. Audio and it's video. It's a mess. Well. <clears throat> ah, super. Super. Um, yeah, we got some drop frames here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just tired of this happening. Uh, Every time we think we have it figured out. I think we're okay now. Okay. Shall we proceed? Clearing up? I guess. No, okay, we're good. We're good. All right, so just... We'll yeah. just not touch it. Not gonna touch it. <laughs> okay, so we're good. Started sweating there a little bit. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. Ugh. 
Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. I need to drink. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, before we get to that. Yeah. So, uh, just kind of wanted to, um, this is, this is something that's, uh, okay, hold on. Unresponsive. That's fine. Go, go away. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is something that, uh, I haven't really talked about except on one episode, one. which was actually like, our very first live episode when, when we were in Chicago and that was just on the iPhone. But I um, want to bring it up because this is a, a graphic novel that is a benefit for the survivors in Las Vegas. And as you may or may not know, uh, myself and one of my co-workers were working that sh- um, the, the day job uh, when that happened. So luckily we were, no, no harm came of us, but we were there when that happened. So this uh, kind of hits close to home. But anyway, this is a collection of stories from survivors and let me get this out of here but um if you can kind of see they're all from different uh artists different um authors uh which way there we go (laughs) that's better uh so it's just a bunch and what's cool about it is it's all true stories and and they use everyone's real names like chad's names in there yeah, so myself and James were interviewed by uh, this person named Van Jensen, and he's a author, works uh, for DC Comics, he's worked on Green Lantern and other comics like that, so uh, our story is actually in there, and 100% of the proceeds from the sale of this goes to a fund uh, for the survivors in Las Vegas. So, it's a great cause so that's why i wanted to bring it up 100 percent of the proceeds yeah so we're not making anything off of this the people who did the art and the stories in here the coloring and and the um uh penciling and everything don't get any of this 100 percent of it i just looked it up today it's on like amazon it's barnes and noble it's pretty much anywhere i'm sure in comic book shops you can get it or they can order it for you um on the back here it says 19.99 i think i saw on amazon it was like 16 49 17 bucks something, something like that so it's worth it uh it's called where we live yeah called where we live i can't really talk about it too much because i'll start crying <laughs> um yeah so anyway just want to bring that up if you are so inclined to uh pick it up please do so it'll be going for a good cause so yes, all right please do that there <laughs> you are so inclined. yeah there we go all right, now let's have a bourbon. I could really use one too. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Woo. Is it is it hot in here? Or yeah. What's going well, on? it's like technical difficulties. There's some and then dust floating around. Emotional stuff and on a very special episode of his bourbon night, right? <laughs> yeah. We dive into those deep <coughs> topics. The yeah. after school special. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, as you know, we just finished, or might not know, and if you don't, I'm letting you know. We just finished our Booker's flight fight. Came out two days ago. Two days ago. Uh, yes. We filmed it a week ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's brand new. <laughs> and then, when did I get this? I got this on Friday. Friday of last week. So the day that the flight fight came out, I picked up this bottle. Yep. <laughs> so we were like five days from actually having this in the flight fight. But what are you going to do? We didn't want to put it off any longer. We didn't know when we were going to be able to to uh, snag this guy. So this is 2018 This is Backyard Barbecue. We've been seeing a lot of comments from people who have had it already who are like, oh, just of... wait till you try it. It's just it's wow and, and all this and that. Now, i got to tell you, obviously, this isn't uncorking. We've already uncorked it and we've already tried it. Right. But let's just save it for when we start, get, start getting into start it. Start sipping. Right? Yeah. Start sipping. But not sipping a while. No. But if you haven't seen our Booker's Flight Fight, please go watch it. Yes, please do. Yeah, find out what happens. Yeah, we won't tell you, but... After, I mean, we just got this bottle, and after we just put out a Booker's Flight Fight, we can't put out a Booker's Uncorking of the O2, <laughs> which won't be in the Barrel Proof Flight Well, you fight. know, like the... It's too much. We can't keep up. The stuff that, like, you know, Booker's comes out four times a year, right? Um, sure. So the stuff like that, it, it can become dated. So, yeah. Um, well, sometimes we do. Like, we did one for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We did, yeah. But we'll that was a very specific do. one. Maybe, we'll, maybe we should start doing, like... Either the last one of the year or the first one of the year. Or something, Maybe. Something. Um, I don't know. You know, I love it. Well, I used to be like, oh my God, this Booker's is my favorite. And then, oh, the <laughs> Kathleen's badge of this year is my favorite. 
You know nothing. I would encourage you to do your you own nothing. booker's flight, whether it's between three or four of them, if you, you know, if you have the access to them. Please do it. It is the hardest flight I've ever done. I think it's both the hardest flight both of us have ever done. And it was one of the most fun ones, too, because I, the truth was none of them were bad. Mm. It was just so interesting, and then the results are just, they're just not what you think they're going to be. So I would encourage it. Please do that for your own amusement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It Minute little differences, and you start having to nitpick. And, you know, we, we said on there, like, if we did this ten times in a row, it might be a different result. And I didn't mean that as to say we're taking all accountability away from flight fights. That's just, it's, I shouldn't have said would always be different. I think it could be different from time to time. But I think when you average it out, you would see this one came in last more often. This one came in third more often. This one came in yeah. second more often. This one came in first more often than not. So, you know, like a game of statistics. Right. Um, because, you know, we said it kind of depends on what mood we're in for this one. And this one might appeal more to that mood. I think ultimately, if you do it like ten times, you're mm-hmm. going to discover what your normal mood is right yeah well more often i'm in this mood when this happens so yeah. you know I mean, but it, it, it was very tough was it not it was extremely hard and it wasn't like oh i want to pick the one that i thought i picked before it was like oh my gosh these are all delicious now i have to decide what makes this one the most delicious yeah you know and yeah that was a tough one it was tough um so let's see <sighs> And the nose on this one is... I almost drank it. I we were going to talk about noses. <laughs> it's so I was like, different <laughs> than, you know, some of the others. Uh, you know, I got, this it, so... I got this the other night, and I'll say it again. It's almond butter. Yes, it is. I mean, he... We were sitting on the couch. We just opened this, and we were just hanging out. And he was like, this is like almond butter. And I'm like... Did you just out nose me, Chad? <laughs> Boom! He that happens did. occasionally. He Not did very it. often. Usually never on air. So there's like no there's photographic no proof. <laughs> <laughs> proof of it. But when I'm like, yeah, when I'm just me chilling on the couch, I'm like, Ugh. profound statement. It's delicious. And then no one believes me. Mm, it's All so right. nice. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it is hot. Um, here, let's give you the, the stats of this guy. Uh, it is six years, two months, and ten days old, and it is 128.8 proof. Someone said they're boycotting bookers since they jacked up the price. I hear ya, I hear ya, I do. But, that demand is up for it, so I guess they can. And when you think about things like Woodford Batch Proof, that are coming out now, and they want $120 for that bottle, and I can get this bottle, which I know is going to be consistently delicious, for about 70 I hear you, but I'm also like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I got there this one. There are plenty one. of options, though, for you to do that and still have a great, sure. Have sure. A great bottle. So. I got this one for $64.99. Just saying. Um, oh, you did? I did. Fancy. But it's kind of like, you know, uh, the... the 2019 Camry is going to probably be a little more expensive than the 2018 Camry, right? You know, it's like I guess. they went so long without having a price hike, and I think they just made up for lost time in one swoop instead of like one year raising at five bucks, the next yeah. year raising at five bucks. So I think it it stung more. Yeah, because they did it all at once. But at least they didn't go to hundred dollars like they said they were. <laughs> well, and the other thing is is that they went from putting out how many releases a year to just four. Uh, six? Yeah. Like so, six. six releases at 50 bucks, 50 so. Six or seven. I think a it was year. six. It was, yeah, every two months. And then 70, 50, 65 to 70 for four. I mean, it's like, it's like they, I don't know if they were just aware that they were going up and they're not ask, not putting them out there because they don't want people who are collectors to buy them. I don't know. They probably want you to buy everything, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to pretend like they're nice people who are being considerate of your wallet, but they're not. And I used (laughs) to, I used to be like, you know, Booker's is good, but I'm not going to try to, you know, worry myself on collecting all of them. Now I I am trying to get every release because now I kind of realize they are just a little bit different and it's, they're always solid and we go through them and I already put a little, we put a pretty good dent in that and we've had this since Friday. How are we not drunk? (laughs) (laughs) Let's talk about the taste. Like I said, it is hot. It is. It's hotter than most. Um, 
while I we taste, please admire this <laughs> test test water glass. Yeah. This is just it was a test rocks glass, but then we found out it holds a good amount of water. So, <laughs> I mean, I think I in general like a taller water glass. But like, yeah. look at that. That's our logo on a glass, and I'm drinking out of it on on air. Shout out to our friend Jeb who did that. Forest to foyer. Forest to foyer. 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 On Instagram and Facebook. Uh, and Facebook. Yeah, he did. If you go look at our Facebook page after the show, um, you can see the other test rock glasses he did for us, and they look pretty darn good. So <clears throat> Even making better. making strides on that. We yeah. are. We're doing a lot of merch stuff here right now. So just hold patience. I promise by Christmas there will be. But oh, before, before then. then. Before but then, for sure. This Come this Christmas, you will be able to buy Kids Bourbonite merchandise for sure. For yes. sure. Yes. What do you think about the taste? Talk about the taste. I think I still get that, just mm. like on the smell, almond butter, right? I think you hit the nail on the head. I get, once the heat kind of, it kind of just rolls over you, it's like whoosh, a wave. And once it starts to die down, I really do get like the creaminess mm. and the nuttiness, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit more subdued of an almond butter. Yeah. Like they have those little white things, you can put them on crackers and stuff, they have those like white squeeze packs of almond butter, and it reminds me exactly of that. Mm-hmm. Like, you couldn't have made a better description, I don't think. Mm. Well. It's really good. That might be my one and only best description in the world. Access Whiskey um, has Noah's Mill. I used to think that one tastes like straight peanut butter. We had a magic bottle that was like, ugh, peanut butter is so butter. good. This kind of reminds me of that, except for it's hotter. You know what I get on this one when you really let the finish set in is kind of like <clears throat> the leather notes that you get on an older whiskey. I mean, this is only six years old, a little over six years. But I get kind of that darker chocolate kind of leatheriness that you get in some older whiskeys. Not yeah. not huge. Oh, I just actually got the chocolate. Yeah. You gotta let that finish mm. kind of set on there. But it's definite chocolate. Oh. Someone said drop the wooden box to get the price oh, down. Good. I kind of agree with that. I guess. I mean, I've got enough of those boxes now where yeah, I'm like, ah, you're just yeah. taking up room. <laughs> taking up room. Um, but. 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 I'll say this. I put a little water in it, and I normally don't do that. But the water, it does some good stuff to it. I'll just say that. Oh, we did put a few drops of water in it, and it, it was one, we put even we put it over a we were outside shooting pictures yesterday. It was really hot, so he poured some of this over like a big cube. Yeah, like a and psh, psh, cube. We shared it, and so it only lasted a couple minutes. But even in that time, like it was so nice to have the water mixed with it. And we're not normally those kinds of people. Nope. Not that those kinds of people are bad. We just that's, those kinds of people. Which is not our go-to, you know. Yeah. Graceful. Um, that was probably a little <laughs> bit too much. Might have to put a little um, bit more back in here. But <laughs> I thought it took it to a crunchy peanut butter type of taste oh, when really? you when you add the water. So twenty-two catch twenty-two said Booker's versus E. H. Taylor barrel proof. Well, you are going to find out as we keep doing our barrel. Barrel proof flight fight. That is really tough to say. Barrel proof flight fight. So the reason we did the Booker's flight was to find out which Booker's was going to go into the barrel proof flight fight. I can't do it. I can't do it. Barrel proof flight I fight. I can't do it. Um, but yeah, so that's going to... I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. Um, you have to go watch the episode after this. Yeah. But... I mean, that will go up against it at some point, and we'll find out. I put a little bit too much water in it, but you can still <clears throat> taste that crunchy peanut butter. Uh, which, you know, so weird that it's crunchy, but yeah, crunchy peanut butter. Mm. I think that water ratio is off. It is. Like you said. It is. Yeah, to me, it I just, just wanna, brings the heat out more. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to pour you. more in here, because we got... We got the other things we to do. We got other things to do. Which we better move on to. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> mm. Delicious. Um, let's see. Woo. Yeah, uh, recommend picking up a bottle of that for sure. Good okay. stuff. Cool. I'll so I saw, I saw Perry in here. We got Swan. Swan said he might have been able to make I it. I didn't see him. Perry, is Swan in the house? Perry. Um, actually, last week, Perry is, uh, he does, this is my bourbon podcast, and we were on with him his last week's episode, and we had quite a long chat. We did. Yeah, we broke the record for the longest yeah. uh, episode from him. It was good, though. Um, I'm so still you, not through it yet. <laughs> yeah, go listen to it if you have a chance. Um, we kind of took a list from Food & Wine magazine, I think that's where it was from, about like the 25 most important bourbons or whiskeys ever. It was bourbons. Mm -hmm. And um, we debated over some of those and tried... Uh, some people have been asking us if we've tried Smooth Ambler Big Level. 
We have not uncorked it, and but we did taste it on that episode. So if you want to hear our thoughts on that, that's that's, right. this is my bourbon podcast. Swan is not here. No, Swan. But normally I make creamy peanut butter, in case you're wondering. Creamy over crunchy. Creamy over crunchy. All right. All right, let's get into this Sample time fun and time. trivia time. Okay. Boom. It's trivia night. So this is the box. And I was trying to think, where did I see this the other day? And it came to me. I was at Old Pogue Distillery. And you saw this? And they had this. So it's funny because that's in Northern Kentucky, and mm-hmm. I got this at Boone County Distillery. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. where I got this. Mm-hmm. It's like the last so. one. Yeah. So. So let's... the bourbon run, and we're not going to get out the whole thing. No. I just want to get out the trivia cards. Some questions here. Yeah, because I could get this whole board out, like Monopoly style. We're not going to do that. Although we did just watch a game night last night. It was funny, you guys. It was a lot better than I thought. I mean, I was expecting it to be an entertaining movie, but it was really funny, really well done. Um, okay. Red box. Do you want to break these out, too, or you want to just go with a stack? I don't know what these are. There's more Q&As. Sure. These might be, like, harder. Maybe. I don't know. We're about to find and out. we got Cooperage cards. Oh, these are, Those like, are for if you play the yeah, game. Yeah, like, go play the game. Like, get out of jail free or, like... Move back a space. Yeah, just like Monopoly. Yeah. Right. So, you do that, and then we'll kind of shuffle all these up so that you guys don't think we're cheating, because uh, we could do that. Do you want me to do it? Why? You just forgot what we're going to drink. Okay. We're going to drink this Jefferson's Ocean. Uh, Voyage 14? Voyage 14. So, uh, their very first wheated mash bill. It's great with wheat thins. Whatever. This comes to us from, um, and apologies for the butchering of the pronouncement, but Kevin... Kroger? Kevin Kruger? Kruger Kroger? Kevin? Croger? We don't know. We don't know. Um, <laughs> I was joking with Chad before this, like, if you'd like us to pronounce your name correctly, please spell it phonetically, <laughs> as well as actually, and put your name in the box so that we can always know who sent us these and we can pronounce it right. Yeah. But I believe it's Kruger. Kruger. Yeah, I Kevin think Kruger. So. He doesn't... So, he thanks, has a, Kevin. Cheers he doesn't to you. He not Kroger. No. Not spelled the same as that. No. All right. Oh, our friends from Australia are up. Oh, what are you guys doing up? Good morning, Chris. Hey, Chris. How are you? Good day. Good day. That's... No. Hates that. He hates it. Hates it. <laughs> well, this does not smell like a Jefferson's right off the bat. Doesn't it... smell like a Jefferson's. Doesn't smell like an ocean. Did you already shuffle? I did. And these two? Uh, don't shuffle them in, because they might need to be separate for some reason. I'm not sure. We haven't read the instructions, so let's just keep those separate. Okay. I feel like those might be, like, harder uh, questions or something. Okay. Well, we'll know. switch to that deck in a little bit. Huh. But it also doesn't smell like a Buffalo Trace weeder, like Weller or um, Are you old, satisfied with old Fitz with um, Heaven Hill or, you know, Larceny Heaven Hill or Pappy Van Winkle. <laughs> When I was smelling several Pappy Van Winkles unique. the other day, I, uh, I wasn't. It smells sweet, but no, it doesn't smell like anything I've ever had from Jefferson's before, and it doesn't smell like a Weller. Yeah. So it's a 90 proof. Hmm. Um, you know, same as Special Reserve or 12. <gasps> I've never had a Jefferson's that I've really enjoyed. <clears throat> to each his own. There you go. I mean, yeah. It is early. How early? How early is it, Chris? It says, is this 15 or 14? Okay, I'm sorry. I might be incorrect because this doesn't have the neck tag on it. This says it's the special weeded mash bill. I might be incorrect, and you might be right, that the 15 is the weeder and the 14 is the cast strength, Perry. And I'm sure you are probably right because you're probably looking it up Perry's on the never right, right. That That's can't be true. right. Sorry, I, I, excuse my mistake on the voyage. Banished! Just poured voyage cast strength to join. Okay, so... This is the weeded Voyage 15. Yeah. Whatever okay. Voyage it is, it's weeded. Apologies. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is different. Kroger rhymes with kegger? Cre- Cre- what? Is that Kevin? Kevin? Kegger? Rhymes with kegger. Kregger? Kregger. <gasps> Sorry, Kevin. Kevin Kregger. How does that Kregger? Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> it's like a mixture, but it's not how it happens in the movie. No. 
Anyways, um, okay. Well, thank you, Kevin. Fifteen is a weeder. And um, well, someone besides Perry said it, so I Perry's it. right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, John. It's it's fifteen. Perry's so mad right now. It's so smooth. It's very smooth, and it doesn't taste like a Jefferson's, and it doesn't taste like an ocean. It doesn't taste like an ocean. It does not. Interesting. It does not. The reverse Glencairn glasses. Yes, these are Tribeca glasses. Mm -hmm. We like them for tasting. Alrighty then. While we enjoy this. <clears throat> Chad. Sarah. True or false? Oh, this is easy. True or false? Most distilleries share their yeast strains. Well, oh, I gotta think about that, because I know some that, like, share it as in, like, this is what is in our yeast. No, no they're usually... share it, like, give it. No, they're proprietary. Correct. Yeah. False. The yeast strains are so much kept a secret that the companies have fil filed patents for their yeasts. Yeah, and they keep them in, like, different safes around the world, so if one place burns down, they've got it in another place. Mm -hmm. That's how attached they are to the yeast strain. One correct for Chad. Okay. Someone uh, keep score, please. Do you... Do you want me to pull from the top, or do you want me to, like... No, pull from the top. I shuffle. All right. Do you guys want me to give more time so you can answer, or do you want him to wait a second? I don't know. I don't know. This is multiple They're choice. answering. Okay. 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 False, false, false. <laughs> the mash bill is cooked down in water to convert the starch in the grain to sugar, develop yeast from the grain, or soften the grain in the mash bill. The mash bill is cooked down in water to do what convert sugar or i'm sorry convert starch in the grain to sugar a yes yay i win a is that one sorry. convert starch in the yeah. grain to sugar mash bill is cooked down in water to convert the starch in the grain to sugar you got it joe so why don't we why don't we just kept our cards if you oh, get okay. one you keep it sure yeah all right all right, let's talk more about this ocean. I'm not getting the normal, like, ocean-y taste. <laughs> Chad's missed calling was being a game show host. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. I can see that. Um, yeah, what about you? Mm. I like it. I like it. I don't know if it tastes ocean price level worthy, though. I don't know. I think some people who like weeded bourbons are really... This is going to be really up their alley. I don't dislike it. I think it's very tasty. I think it's throwing me off because it's not at all the flavors that I'm used to from Jefferson's. Yeah. And I really love the cast strength voyages. So I mm. think my, my heart is there. Yeah. And this is good. Your heart is on the ocean. The heart of the ocean. But it's not... I, don't, I guess it's just surprising me. I think this is something I'm going to have to revisit. Sure. If you like weeded bourbon, though, <clears throat> I would recommend this because it's really smooth. But do you think it tastes hotter than 90? Because I do. No. Really? I think it tastes hotter. I mean, if you told me it was 100, I believe you. But I think it's, you know, it's pretty easy. It's not super, you know, sweet. I don't know. It's a thinker. It's a thinker. And there's a hair. This one's too easy. This isn't fair. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Come on. True or false? Maker's Mark does not use any rye in their mash bill. Wait. <laughs> let them answer real quick. Okay. But it's so easy. Well, I guess... I don't know. We have like a little bit of a delay, so it's going to take mm -hmm. it like three minutes. Not even three minutes, but for them to get there. So we're still not there. <laughs> What okay. would be the last bourbon before you croak? Why don't you go ahead and answer? Because they'll start answering. Oh, okay. Ooh, the last bourbon before you croak. <clears throat> Wait, I can't remember to say true or false. What? It? True or false? Maker's yeah. Mark does not use any rye in their oh, mash bill. True. It's true. Yeah. Their mash bill is seventy percent corn, fourteen percent malted barley, and sixteen percent wheat. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, one for Sarah. Oh gosh, it's gonna be hard. In 1742, the British dignitary... No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'd be like, what? I was like, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> hey, Jason, thank you oh, so thank much. Oh, thank you, Jason. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. 
to the last sip of this Jefferson's. There was a little bit left in there. It's all good. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate that very much. This one's for Jason, but more for Sarah. This, this distillery, located in Columbus, Ohio, uses 100% Ohio soft red winter wheat in its whiskey. Is it A, Corsair, B, Middle West Spirits, or C, Black Dirt Distillery? I have no idea. I've well, never can, heard of any of those. You can rule one of them out. Because one of them's in, I believe, Bowling Green? I have no idea. You well, guys, I'm stumped. This is a hard one. Does anyone out there know? Can I phone a friend? Phone phone your friends. Can you guys narrow it down for me? Don't tell me the answer, please. Just narrow it down. Take one of them out. Yeah, tell me which one eliminate, I need. Eliminate. Oh, they're telling me the answer. Well, you already saw it. I saw it, yeah, so it's not fair. It. So that... I lose that question, because I didn't know. Well, you could have guessed. What would you have guessed? Probably A. Yeah, you're wrong. I know. Coursera, I think, is the one in Bowling Green. That's one you should have eliminated. I believe it's Bowling Green, right, guys? <gasps> Damn it. Chad's winning. <laughs> Jacob Porter, hello from Columbus. I needed you on that question. <laughs> you should have phoned Jacob. <laughs> no. I can't lose to Chad. Can't you? <laughs> and aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, so actually we had an agenda, but I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. I kind of want to do Rock Hill Farms next because that's something that I think a lot of people are familiar with. Sure. But that I don't want think that we need to discuss too much, whereas Breaker Bourbon, which is another one we have, is new for us. Yeah. And we've both never had the Buffalo Trace Experimental Collection 2015 right. before. Oh, so put them like toward, like, it's like save it for Sweets Week, put it towards the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, <laughs> and I would like to just sip this. While we oh, continue while the game. Sure, sure. So, Rock Hill Farms, 100 proof, uh, Buffalo Trace Distillery. I think it's, correct me if I'm wrong here, Internet, but I think it's the only other bourbon that comes from the metal warehouse besides uh, Blanton's. Because I think it's basically kind of like a 10 proof higher Blanton's. At least that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard, too. On the streets? On, on the, the bourbon streets? streets? Where on the street is. You know. This was sent to us from... I believe we mentioned him last week as well, Henry Papa. I love it when you call me Henry Papa. I hate it when you say that. Yeah, I know. Okay. I just have to imagine his nickname is Big Papa. And if it's not, it's a You have no idea. What if it's not even his real name or something, or that's not how it's pronounced or whatever? What, Papa? We're getting it wrong. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Good old Rock Hill Farm, so Ooh, proof. that's nice. I also heard it was aged a little bit longer. What's funny is it's usually, I don't know if this is still the case, but when you could actually, you know, like, kind of find some, it was lower priced than Blanton's. Yes. And also a single barrel, question mark, as my voice goes up? A barrel? <laughs> it's not a single barrel. <laughs> Sal, hello. Um, you would like to send us a mystery sample. That would be amazing. Please email us at itsbirdmanite at gmail.com, and we will talk about how you can get that to us and that would be so fun i like mysteries and please put it in a box we'll drink with it while we play marks. clue next time <laughs> throw your hands in the it air it was colonel blanton <laughs> in the distillery with the whiskey thief uh <laughs> we could do a clue version P- patent patent pin 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 it's bourbonite 2018 yeah don't all rights, steal all that. Rights reserves how fun would that be you guys that would be so cool. We could make all the different rooms it could and different be like, places. Instead of Miss Scarlet. The fermenting room. It could be Miss Marianne Mary's, Miss Eves. Miss Marianne. Barnes Eves. Eves. Yeah. Yeah. And so forth. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay. Pause on that. All right. That's going to take some development. Um, whiskey, which was brought to the Single new barrel, yes. world. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was just... Imparting knowledge, it is a single barrel. Whiskey, which was brought to the New World by Irish settlers in the 18th century, translates to A, devil's water, B, water of life, or C, strong water. Water of life. Damn it. I thought we were going to have a harder time with that one. It is B, that's correct. Water of life. Yoink! Three to one, Chad. Victory sip? Okay. Even if you win, you lose, though. Because you just pissed me off and you have to deal with me for the rest of the night, so. It's true. So let's start rooting for Sarah, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Brad, thank you so much. This is good. Oh, thank you, Brad. Cheers to Brad. Hey, you guys know it. Yep, they know it. See? Perry, thank you for the reminder. What? That you're three to oh, one. Oh, three to one. <laughs> That's true. 
Good job, you guys. No, it's good. It's tasty. It's, um... Thanks to all 109 of you, 107 of you that are watching. I shouldn't have said the number. Um, we're drinking Rock Hill Farms right now, and we're playing the Bourbon Run Trivia Game. The just Bourbon a little Run. bit. Just a little bit. Every time I say it, the number drops. It drops. <laughs> 104. Oh, my God. What did I do? Where do okay. you see that? Here. Oh, right there. What are you doing? It's just getting good. I know. I know. Well, I did it. Um, okay, my turn. <clears throat> Let the Wookiee win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will New strategy. <laughs> let the let the Wookiee win. T or F? Never have I ever. No. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, bourbon must be made in Kentucky to be called bourbon. False. False. That was easy. I needed one. However, it must be made in the United States. That's correct. Common go. misconception. Common misconception. I love going on tours and they always ask that. And they're always, and they're always like, right? It has to be made in See, Kentucky, that's why right? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, er, wrong, get out. That's <laughs> why I, I don't think I would be a very good tour guy. Because I'd be like, <laughs> let me tell no, you the rules. wrong. I wish, because I live in Kentucky. <laughs> but no. Yay, I win. Not yet. It's three to two. In case Perry's going to give me the score, he already did it. There you go. All right. Mm. Next Farms. question for Chad. Good. Rock Hill Farm, solid. I haven't solid. had it in a while. Yeah, me either. <clears throat> this is stupid, you guys. This isn't fair. True or false, wheat is added to the mash bill to impart spicy notes. <laughs> false. False. Wheat makes a whiskey milder and smoother. Yoink! <laughs> But that's actually not even true. It's not added the to wheat make... wheat doesn't make it. Wheat is a less dominant grain, so it lets the sweetness of the corn show through bourbon run. So... Dropping knowledge, truth bomb. Yeah. The wheat doesn't make it sweeter. The wheat just lets the corn make it sweeter. <clears throat> All right. Sarah. An intranet. True or false? By law... Uh, wait... Okay, let's make sure. I thought we had this one before. By law, all whiskey distillers must use the same mash bill. False. Yeah, it's false. It's false. Each distillery has its own recipe for their grain mixture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> I'm we like... Need, we, we, should, we should do one of these, just in case. I can't help it. I, there's no easy questions. It's just a stack. You want to switch to the other deck? Let's switch. I don't know what the other if the other deck is harder or not, but Again, let's we've switch. never played this legitimately We yet. literally just opened it's these cards today. It's a smaller deck. We'll see. Okay. All right. Is it my turn or your turn? Well, let's do some bourbon. Let's okay. do that breaker. Can we do that breaker? Breaker bourbon. Breaker bourbon. Like, breaker breaker. Breaker breaker. What's your bourbon? <laughs> this comes to us from Swan the Bourbon Finder. <laughs> Brad says, Chad, next question. True or false? Bourbon is brown. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can I phone a friend? A reshuffle? Let me shuffle these. Yeah. These uh, might be the harder deck. Yeah. This comes to us from Swan. Uh, he is the bourbon finder. Uh, On Instagram. Swan the Bourbon Finder? No, I think he's just the Bourbon Finder. The Bourbon Finder? Perry. Perry. <laughs> Perry. Phone a friend. It's okay. <laughs> Help us out, Perry. Uh, but anyway. I'm cheering for me. For Swan. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know who you like. Uh, Breaker Bourbon, I believe it's 90 proof, I think. We can't look it up because if we go on the internet on this computer, the, it'll freeze. We're just not. We're just not. So we're relying on you guys right yeah. now. Yeah. I need some more water. <laughs> Uh, I have that on standby. Anyone tried the King's County? No, I want to. I mean, I've got some extra if you need it. Right there. All right. At the Bourbon Finder, this yes. Swan the Bourbon Finder, but at the Bourbon Finder. At the Bourbon Finder. Thank you, Swan. Thanks, Swan. Swanny. Swan. I've never had this. I really don't know much about it. And actually, you know what? I prefer not to before I taste it. I think it's not. Keep me in the dark. I'm fine with it. Your turn, right? Whoo, that is light and airy. I made a whoo sound like it was going to be tough, but it reminds me of clouds. <laughs> smells like old boxes. Old boxes? There's some, there's some must in it. There's oh, a, there, there is There's a must. mustiness to it. it. smells like moving day. It does smell like moving day in a wet warehouse. <laughs> yeah. Is it my turn or your turn? Internet? <laughs> well, what Keep was the last Keep us on track. Part? Oh, no, it's, my, it's your turn. I, my last question was, by law, all whiskeys must use the same mash bill. Oh, right, right. So, and you're ahead anyways, so right. it's, it's your turn. Go ahead. Woo, girl. Go, go. Mm, I don't like that show. This is stupid. These are not harder. Are they easier? <laughs> well, give me another one then if it's too easy. It's too easy. What was it? 
True or false, the mash bill is a blend of yeast to make the bourbon. A blend of just yeast? A, b- a blend of yeast. No. Correct. Yeah. False. The mash bill is... They miss... Is gains blended together. Who made this game? Get it together, Bourbon Did Run. That's proof- strike two. Did anyone proofread this? Is grains blended together to produce different flavors? That's too easy. I think that we should scratch the ones that are too easy. All right, agreed. I mean, that's just way too easy. This is also too easy. <laughs> well, that's an interesting taste. Ooh, here's a good one. Question. This distillery makes the world's only quinoa whiskey. A, Corsair. B, Hartfield & Co. C, Wilderness Trail. Quinoa. 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 It's fun to say. Quinoa. This is a good one. I'll read you the ones I passed on. Corsair. That's correct. Boom, baby! (laughs) Oh! Can you feel that? That's disgusting. Don't do that. It's it's Ace Ventura. Is it a guy thing? Yeah. So the ones I passed on, because these are way too easy, are which distillery produces Old Scout straight bourbon whiskey? <laughs> uh, smooth Ambler. That was A. <laughs> True or false, the OKI in, in, in OKI whiskey stands for? Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana. Correct. <laughs> I just am a knowledgeable stupid. son of a bee. So it's your turn? This smells like moving day, yeah. Yeah, and it tastes like a moving day. What is that funk? <laughs> it's got some funk. It tastes like boxes that were in a basement that maybe it flooded, and then they sat down there for a little bit while. A little bit for while. A, for a little bit while. A little while. And then um, you moved them, and then you actually ended up licking one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this can't help it box... Attraction. Oh, no, I don't like it. Yeah, Perry, we're still keeping score. (laughs) He's going to win. Okay. Ooh. Well, no, it's pretty easy. In the distillation process, the distillate comes off the still in phases known as heads, hearts, tails, top, center, bottom, use, keep, trash. Head, hearts, tails. (laughs) Yeah. I should have put that one in the too easy. Probably, but you didn't, so it's mine. Fine, whatever. Now we're four to five, Perry. Perry! <laughs> I'm like, I'm blaming it on him, because he's keeping score. <laughs> Can we just set this aside? I mean, I mean, we love you, Swan. We love you. I haven't had it before. Always great to try new stuff. I'll finish this later. We're going to finish it later. I'm not a fan of it. Mm. Y'all are right. It was A. Yep. Good call. All right. Actually, I got five, Perry. Did you miss one? No, I didn't miss one. Oh, but it's your turn now, so you would have... If you get this one right, it'll be 6-4. Yeah. He's just knowing that I'm going to get it. (laughs) It's true. We don't know which version of Breaker Bourbon we just tasted. It tastes like we did, I guess. I think it was aged in a box instead of a barrel. Aged at box. <laughs> Aged at warehouse. Okay. Full of boxes. This is actually pretty good. All right. All right. This is a A through D multiple choice question. Ooh, snap. Why are stills typically made of copper? Mm-hmm. A, the whiskey tastes better. <laughs> B, copper will not put harmful chemicals into the final product. Uh-huh. C, copper cancels out the sulfur taste produced by the yeast. Uh-huh. D, all above. Well, I feel like if B and C are true, then A is true. I don't know. Is it? A. The whiskey tastes better. B. Copper will not put harmful chemicals into the final product. That's what I was thinking. C. Copper cancels out the sulfur taste produced by the yeast. And D. Not sure about that one. Oh, so it's either D or B. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Because if B and C are true, then A is true. I'm covering the answer. Oh, man. What to do? But Remy C again. C is what? C. Copper cancels out the sulfur taste produced by the yeast. See, I don't know if yeast produces a sulfur taste. How am I supposed to know that? I don't know that. I don't know, I don't know that, guys. 
It's either B or D. Which one is it? You have to answer. Oh, snap. Oh. <laughs> you can't read the comments. I like this. B? No, 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 D. I'm sorry. The answer is D. No, that's what I was going to say. That's what I said. That's what I said. It's D. D. In the no! process, sulfur comes from the yeast and binds itself to the copper and washes down the drain rather than into the whiskey. Well, I think I should get like half credit for that. No Can you credit. try that in half and give it to no. me? Well, I've learned something today. I'm behind still anyways. I learned something. Time. They're like, you're, you're done. <laughs> they said no. Dang. Okay, I'll put this while you ask me the next one. Oh, better be a hard one. This is the Buffalo 2015 Buffalo Trace Experimental Collection. Mash number one, number four char, French oak heads, 10 year, 90 proof. Just in case you wanted to know. They said they like the show more the more that I drink, and I think that's funny. <laughs> this distillery is also known as Kentucky Bourbon Distillers Limited. Is it A, Old Pogue, B, Smooth Ambler, or C, Will it? C. Yes. Will it? Will it or won't it? <laughs> Chad didn't want the D. <laughs> <laughs> Tied. But you did give me a pretty easy one. Thank you. I'm sweet. You are. Not a whole lot going on in the smell department. Gotta be honest. Really, I like it. It's got a grainy smell that I like. It's a little grainy, a little grainy, a little grainy, a little granny too. Oh, that's interesting. It's very complex. It ain't bad. I like it. Is it weeded? Well, it's a it's an experimental. We don't know what's in it. Oh, okay. I'm sure we could Google that. French oak heads, ten year, ninety proof. A little dry. That's really interesting. Tastes a little French. Oh. 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 <laughs> Is it my turn to ask you? No, it's no. your turn to ask me. No, it's your turn to ask me. I just asked you and you got it wrong. So then, oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, if it's too easy, you can pass. Yeah, it's too easy. This is what it is. This bourbon is named in honor of the treasury agent, John E. Fitzgerald, who, who used his keys to the warehouse to pilfer bourbon. Oh, Fitzgerald. Oh, larceny. I'm going to count that as wrong, guys. I'm going to count it as wrong. No, it's larceny. It's larceny. larceny. She got it wrong. Incorrect, because you didn't read me the multiple choice questions. But you still guessed. But you didn't read me the... Internet, what do you think? Let's wait for the a multiple choice Let's wait for a answers ruling. were Old Crow, Larceny, and Fighting Cock. If I had waited for those, then I would have guessed Larceny. But since you said you were already going to pass on it, uh, I did. Ah, fine. What, was that like a you're going to hit me kind <laughs> no. of? No. It's like. Mm. <laughs> all right, fine. If you all think it's wrong, I'll subtract a point off my score. My bad, but he already said it wasn't a for real question. It, it, so I've also got to skip this one. Which whiskey sits? For up to six months in port barrels from Portugal. Is it Angel's Envy, Old Granddad, or Ancient Age? <laughs> Angel's Envy. Jeez. Uh, this is a TRF. Flavored bourbons are the second most popular spirit in the U.S. True or false? Second most popular? Yeah. Hmm. Let's roll with it. <laughs> True or false? Flavor bourbons are the second most popular spirit in the U.S. False. Yes. Bourbon, by definition, can I mean... That doesn't have anything to do with spirits, though. I don't know why they oh, put that Oh, Joseph, on thank Joseph. you. Joseph! Give me a break, he says. For the knowledge. Cheers to you Give with Sarah our Buffalo Trace break. experimental collection. Thank you, Joseph. This next one's for Joe. No, it's my turn to read you. It's for Joe. Oh, Joe, this is for you. <laughs> what gives whiskey its dark brown color? The charred wood in the barrel, the mash bill, or limestone water? You guys don't answer this. Please don't answer this. That's, Let Joe answer it. That's for Joe. What is it, Joe? Is it A, charred wood in the barrel, B, the mash bill, or C, the limestone water? Don't answer it. Let Joe answer it. We're waiting for Joseph. While we wait for Joseph, I will ask question. I will ask question her Sarah. 
No, that's too easy. I thought it was my turn to ask you a question. You're right. Well, you read this one, so... I didn't see the answer. Too late. Joseph says A. Joseph is right! Yay, Joseph. He's a fart smeller. A uh, smart feller. You're dumb. <laughs> Tobacco spit. You're right, Perry. Tobacco That's too spit. easy. Tobacco spit gives it that nice, and arsenic gives it that, and battery acid gives too it easy. that nice brown color. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. Mm. True or false? She likes it. Baker's is named for the pastry chef that developed the mash bill. <laughs> false. Damn it. <laughs> I thought this was a good one. False. It is named for Baker Beam, the grandnephew of Jim Beam. I know my beams. I know my beam lineage. I should have known. Come on. I look like you're going to name it for a baker. Like it's ratatouille or something. Ratatouille bourbon. All right. Maybe we better make this our last one. Okay. Well, I don't know. We could keep going. We've got a little left. Sure. All right. You guys, If you guys want us to keep going, we'll just keep going a couple more. And if you want to hang uh, on, hang on. I feel like this one's too easy. Then throw it. Throw oh. it away. Okay. This is what it is. This whiskey was the first to be sold exclusively in sealed bottles rather than dispensed from the from the barrel. Old Forester, Old Fitzgerald, or Pappy Van Winkle. You know it, right? You said we're throwing this away already. Hmm. So it's you can't count it. You can't count it. Don't look. I'm gonna say What is it? Old Fitz. It's Old Forester, Wrong. shit. It's Old Forester. <laughs> but you already said that doesn't count. Come on. You already said it was a throwaway. Arr. You shouldn't have made that call before you asked me. That's your fault. I thought you knew that. Mm. <laughs> this is kind of fun. They like it. I thought I knew things. Well, what I was thinking was... It's on the bottle. The Elijah Craig history yeah. and then the heavy It's on the middle. label. That's where my brain went. This question is so And dumb. that it was so old that it would have been that... The ingredients in a Manhattan cocktail are one ounce sweet vermouth, one dash Angostura bitters, and two ounces of gin, two ounces of whiskey, or two ounces of vodka. Obviously, it's whiskey. It's the bourbon run game. <laughs> Stupid. And it's a Manhattan. Who doesn't know that? Yeah, we'll just stop <laughs> counting answers. It's fine. We have cards. <laughs> we'll count the cards at the end. All right. True or false? Breaking and entering uses a blend of some 80 different Kentucky bourbons. Breaking and entering? What is that? Exactly. Well, I don't know what it is. That could be true. What's your answer? True. It's true. St. George Spirits... Why would you make that up? I don't know. St. George Spirits sources the whiskey that is five to eight years old and blends them at their distillery. Well, who knew? John Brown said, Chad will always be the winner because Sarah. <laughs> That's the <laughs> sweetest thing I ever heard. Lame, and we just lost viewers. <laughs> Everyone's gone. <laughs> and we plummet. <laughs> six, six. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, congratulations, you won. Well, we're not calling it yet, are we? Are we well, calling seven it? seven to six. Let's... You want to do one more? Sudden death? I think we should call... Okay, sudden Winter death. Winner takes meow? I think we should call it even though because i didn't cheat but there's been some contention i did take advantage of how you put the rules so mm -hmm. are we still coming down to bardstown for the bourbon festival uh hell yeah oh yay we should get a table chris yes we should mm -hmm. pam's here pam's in who's john brown john brown's the one that said the nice thing oh <laughs> Knock that sentimental crap off. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. It only ever happened like on one other episode. In uh, two years, that's pretty good. It's too easy for us, but we'll read it for the internet. Vendome Copper and Brass is one of the on is one of only a few fabricators that make copper stills and is located in what city? Is it A Chicago? B Pittsburgh. Stop it. Or C Louisville. Well, you're seeing because obviously I yeah, answered. Yeah, you answered, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you all can ask questions if you want to. If you want to trivia us. Which distillery produces OKI whiskey? Is it A. New Riff, B. Anchor, or C. Wilderness Trail? This is for the internet. 
See if I can find one for Sarah. They've guessed the first one right about Vendome. It is Louisville. Louisville for Vendome. Y'all are right. What about OKI? Is it New Riff, A, B, Anchor, or C, Wilderness Trail? I know, but I'm not allowed to tell. You're he not. made me stop moving my head, so. Okay, people are getting it. A, New Riff. You You're are correct. Right. This is for Sarah. Oh, this is for me? This is for Sarah. Which distillery uses dark pumpernickel rye in their rye whiskey? Is it A, Middle West Spirits, B, Gentry, or C, Cleveland Whiskey? I've never heard of any of these huh. things. Huh. Gentry. You are wrong! <laughs> it's obviously Middle West Did you know? Spirits. Did you know that? No. No. It's Middle West <clears throat> Spirits, guys. I had no idea. I've never heard of that before. Give me one. one of you guys has... Give me one. Come has on. that. Okay, all right. One for Chad. Can't. That's too easy. Ugh. Where did my Booker's glass go? I want my Booker's glass. I literally can't... All these questions are about bottled and bond, and Chad knows everything about <laughs> bottled and bond. I majored. Oh, in this might be and good. This was not my Booker's class. <clears throat> True or false? The first recipe for sour mash was created by a woman. <sighs> oh. Um. <laughs> True. That is true. Catherine Spears Fry Carpenter is credited for the recipe. The sour mash process was invented by Dr. James C. Crow at what is now Woodford Reserve. Well, you had a 50-50 chance, so. Whoop. And we're all tied up. <laughs> yes, we are. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Don't ever say pumpernickel to me again. So. <laughs> oh, a lot of people knew it. They're all like, true, 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 true. Oh, more bookers. Thank you. We can share if you want. Never mind. I'm gonna put a little water in it though. You cool with that? I guess I'll have to be. If it's yours and we're sharing. <laughs> but just I'm gonna try to get it like a little this time. Have we tried any good craft or startup distilleries? All the ones I've tried are trouble. I like the OKI, but now they're That's not their stuff. Well there's it's not. But now they're switching to their own. Oh, in the news. New they, Riff coming out with their own distillate this in fall. fall. In fall. <laughs> in fall. I think it'll be a four year? It's a four year. It's a bottle of mine, I think. Yeah. They're, they're doing a bottle of mine. doing a bottle of sure. I think they're going to keep going up, though. That's yeah. their plan. Oh, I should have made him give the name of the woman. He would have never known. Julianne. What's with the Booker's kick? Um, no it's, reason. It's Booker's, and it's great. Well, Booker's Flight Fight has been on our radar forever, and then the O2 came out. And the reason that the Booker's Flight Fight has been on our radar is because we're going to do the Barrel Proof Flight Fight, and I got through it that time without stumbling. You did. I did. Um, Boone County, yes. I Actually, Boone County is very good, but again, it's not their stuff, right? Right. I love Boone County, but it's not their stuff. I think it's also MGP. How did you like Old Pogue? Old Pogue's great. You know, it's expensive, but it's very craft. It's very small. Um, would love to try it foolproof. Um, Tried some, and so did Perry, some White Dog right off the still at like 130 proof. It was really good. <laughs> it was really good, guys. It was not too much bite, but enough bite. Uh, it didn't really taste like green or young, you know? It was just, it was good. It was good. It was good. Let's talk for a second about the tragedy at, um, oh. yeah, at, um, Barton. Barton with the 1792. Ouch. You know, I was just there like three or four weeks ago picking up, helping to pick a bottle of, um, 1792 foolproof for hops to go, which I hope will still come out because I would think once we picked it, yeah, they it would goes, move it. It goes to, it goes to processing. It goes to dumping. Right? I'm like... I was watching and I was like, because, no, my barrel! Because <laughs> uh, Justin of Justin's House of Bourbon and also Bell's and the Bourbon Review was there the day that it happened. And he tweeted out or Instagrammed out, don't worry, 
we picked our barrel before this happened. Yeah. So it usually so, it goes it rolls out of the warehouse and it goes on a truck and it goes and elsewhere. it goes skid dumped and processed and whatever. But people have been saying and there's someone like fabricated you saw it fabricated yeah, the, the fake, label uh, with the green neck and <laughs> yeah the warehouse like uh, warehouse thirty uh, survivor or the or fallen spirits or whatever. Fallen spirits. Those are very yeah. clever. Yeah. And they may do one of those because Buffalo Trace did the where the tornado, tornado where, survival, sea tornado survivor, or whatever it was. Um, but come on, people are if you start doing that more, people are gonna think you're causing a collapse. I don't, you're think, causing some I don't type think I don't think anyone thing. would cause that because who knows how many barrels were damaged and the EPA is out there trying to find out whether it's flowing into the nearby creek and if it did, it's gonna affect wildlife and they'll probably get a fine. Plus the cost, like the millions of dollars to rebuild. Like, so that's I, true. I did that's the, true. do the math. Okay. That's true. You get about let's let's just even say 120 bottles per barrel. You think that's fair? 120 to 200, depending on the age. Let's say 120 of full proof, okay. or whatever. Okay. Let's just say 120 of full proof, and let's even just call it 25 dollars a barrel. So you do that math. 25 dollars a barrel. I'm sorry, a bottle. Okay. Okay. So. Twenty-five dollars a bottle, times a hundred and twenty bottles. But you're talking per about barrel. foolproof. Yeah. Twenty-five dollars is not gonna be foolproof. I know. That's why I'm saying let's shoot low. Oh, okay. Let's right, just right. shoot low. I'll stop talking. For the sake of figuring out how much this costs, okay? So, twenty-five dollars a bottle times a hundred and twenty dollars per barrel times the nine thousand barrels that were damaged that we know of. Tell me how much that costs, cause I have a number in my head already. Oh, not yeah. that I'm Rain Man, but I've already done this math. What do you guys think? How much money does that cost? 142, 142 toothpicks. Yeah, definitely definitely 142 toothpicks. $25 a bottle, 120 bottles per barrel. Don't make them do math. 9,000 barrels. They've been drinking for the past hour. If I mean, they don't answer, if someone doesn't answer the next 15 seconds, I'm going to tell you. The fallen angel share. <laughs> no one's going to answer. No one's got their calculator on their phone? Come on. I just wanted to know. How much would this maybe cost them? Buffalo Trace did cause the tornado. One million dollars. That's a great... <laughs> one, one million dollars. No. Higher. I don't know. What is it? When I did the math the other day on my phone, it was 27 million dollars. <laughs> so why would you cause that to create a buzz? Mm -hmm. And that's me, again, guessing that they were going to do foolproof at, at a low price per bottle... At one hundred and twenty dollars or one hundred and twenty bottles per barrel, which you can probably get more out of the barrel yeah, than that. Yeah. And if you're not doing foolproof, it would be more. If you're doing Closer foolproof, to more expensive. Blah blah blah. Lots of factors. Hundred. Yeah, this is my bourbon podcast. Thank you, Perry. That's the correct answer. Twenty eight million. Why have you switched to this is my bourbon podcast? Don't worry about what he does. Um. <clears throat> anyways, who would? cause that stunt on purpose that's way too much money i'm not saying it was done i was, I was just it's more than 125 bottles yes i know but i'm saying like we don't know how much is evaporated so if we say that it's low we're on the low end of what it cost them so 28 million dollars is a lot of money well warehouses cost like what 10 million dollars to build it's so, insane yeah so no one's gonna pull this just for the stunt of getting a fallen spirit survivor bottle out there because it's not going to make the money back it's true i mean you, they could charge 75 dollars for it but mm, i wouldn't risk that would you roll those dice 20 million dollars no i wouldn't not nah. nah, son nah um should we have one more question and then call it let's or? do it all right one more then we're done chad mm. no yes true Ooh, i like this question b Chad, true or false? Okay. Thirty-seven percent of the whiskey consumed in the U.S. is consumed by women. Thirty-seven percent of the whiskey consumed in the U.S. is consumed by women. I mean, it could be false, and it could be thirty-eight. This is the risky run. Thirty-seven percent of the whiskey consumed in the U.S. is by women. True. That's correct. Gimme. Eight to seven. Chad wins. No, it's my turn. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> they said false. Oh. It's true. It's true, you guys. I'm one of those. <clears throat> I'm one of that 37%. Oh, look at them all. They all say false. I'm getting lit. Thank you. Who's mom? My mom? <laughs> Ooh. Sarah. Oh, God. I'm going to lose this one. 
This master distiller, quote, borrowed, end quote, an airplane from a remote airfield in Alaska at the age of 12. Is it A, Lincoln Henderson, B, Tom Lix, L-I-X, mm-hmm. or C, Andrew Buchanan? C. Andrew Buchanan is a friend of mine who went to school at the other school besides mine in Paris and runs Hartfield and Company. So that is incorrect. Ah. It is A, Lincoln Henderson. Who the hell knows that? <laughs> Chad wins! But we all win, really. You Sarah do. wins. He won. I win. You all win. We all win. We don't have to get, like... Upset about it or anything, or I'm not hold upset. any grudges, or any have any repercussions I think, I think, from it. Would you have known that answer? No. Okay, thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. I would not. Well, I would have known it wasn't Andrew. Well, you know him personally, and That's I true. don't. That's true. That's true. That's true. I knew it wasn't B because you couldn't pronounce his name, and you would have already looked at the answer, so you would have the already. Answer determined... wouldn't have told me how to pronounce his name. No, but you would have already determined in your head how you mm. were going to say his name. So I knew it wasn't that one. So you think. <laughs> they have college in Paris, Kentucky. They don't have college. No, high school. Chad loses because I say so. Oh, I lose because I will never get this hour back. Ouch. Then why have you been here for an hour? He said, no. "Oh well." He's laughing. At I well. know. He's James is laughing. Ooh, Jack well. should order pizza because food. Mm. Uh, you said pizza. Now I'm thinking jets. Uh, let's get jets. Let's get jets. jets. Let's get jets. I just want to... Uh, I keep like, where's my drink? And then I forget that I just poured one and you have it. Um, hmm. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us. Thanks all for joining over us. 100 of you all. There's 111 of you right now. Never say the number. Um, It'll automatically drop. <laughs> drop oh, wait. Yeah. It went up when you said it. Hey-oh! Um, thank you. 113. No, that's unlucky. Can we get... No, it went to 112. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us again on a wonderful Sunday uh, wherever you may be, check out this bourbon run game. It seems pretty fun for all ages <laughs> and all whiskey knowledge. Um, you know what? We'll take these. We have not read these cards. Maybe we'll keep these and do this again. We have a large. Well, you just combine them. So they're there all goes that. clearly easy. All they're right. all clearly not the same. So we have still this large of a stack to go through. I can promise you that we won't go through them without you guys. If that's what you'd like. If you did like this, let us know. And we'll do this again with this stack. If you don't like this, please let us know. We'll never do it again. Please just keep watching. Someone says Sarah sing instead. Absolutely not. I'm not even there yet. And ouch. Um, We'd have to be, again, very drunk, karaoke. I wouldn't. Friday, Saturday night. That's the only time I'm doing that. I'm so. fine. They don't want you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it when you sing. I don't. <laughs> and I love it when you call me Big Papa. Yes, all right, and that brings us full circle. <laughs> follow us if you're not. I would imagine you are, but if you're not, please follow us on the social medias at It's Bourbon Night. You can get things like this Tribeca glass that we use for these in our flight fights on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night. We get a little bit of that, and it helps out the channel. And what really helps us out is our Patreon page, right? That does, too. With yeah. the Amazon, we get to buy more Amazon things, which we love because we always need Yeah, we get an Amazon gift card. And stuff we always need yeah. more stuff yeah but, so it's um, patreon patreon.com slash we're working towards merch we we're hope ru- to. we're like in the throes we're of in it. the middle of the eye of the storm yeah um and so we hope to add that to our patreon rewards at some point in the near future near future near close um so yeah stay tuned for that yeah we love you guys you're awesome chad just drank the bookers so i guess i'll just drink this nasty stuff <laughs> Hey, you lost. I did lose. <laughs> I think it's like... It's it's fair enough. It's fair, fair enough. Um, yeah. We are funnier and funnier the more we drink. I also feel the same way. Just looser and looser. Yeah. More ourselves, mm-hmm. I feel like. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Oh, hey, look. It's Dexter. Well, you, they can't... Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you made it, buddy. You he made it on the stream. Yeah. All right. Cool. We will put the... Uh, on the influencer page. Oh, oh, we should add that to our influencer Oh, yeah, the that's book. a great idea. That's a great idea. Thank you. Thank um, you. We will add the... Um, Thank you, John. 
where we live to um, our influencer page for anyone that wants to buy it and hear Chad's story along with everyone else's everyone story. Everyone else's, yeah, and it goes, again, to Brings a great it. cause. Great yes, cause. very good cause. Close yep. to our hearts. So yep. thank you all. Cheers to you guys. Have a great Sunday, and we'll see you next time. That's normally your line. <laughs> see you next time. Drink more bourbon. <laughs>